these are 998 throttle bodies and there's just a few things I'll go through and point out on them they're a bit different to all the previous ones and a bit unique they have the small PF3C TPS down here which is just a non-linear TPS in a different package one thing you find with them is that often you don't get full throttle and if you open the throttle all the way up you can sort of see this blade on the horizontal isn't fully opening and the stop is just here next to the idle stop screw and it's just a throttle body thing and sometimes it'll be about there on, on the diagnostic tool you'll check and it'll have like 80 degrees instead of 85 so if you just get a square file and file down here and take it off till you get 85 degrees that way you know you're getting full throttle it's not much but every bit helps and most of the 998s are like that um, one of the issues with the 998 throttle body is that the TPS and the throttle cable go into the horizontal this one here is the horizontal but the fast idle goes to the vertical so when you pull the fast idle on what it does is it opens the vertical throttle body it takes the slack up in the throttle rod and then it opens the horizontal so what you end up with is when you're trying to start it the vertical throttle body is open more than the horizontal and more than the TPS is reading so it's leaner and they can be quite hard to start on the fast idle and usually a 998 when it's set up well will fire up with the throttle closed and then as soon as it fires up you can pull the fast idle on and that will um, raise the idle speed but if we open the fast idle up now you'll see the vertical starts to move about there and so it opens up horizontal hasn't moved yet and you get a fair bit of opening on the vertical oh, you're not getting much opening at all to adjust these ones you slide the throttle linkage or the fast idle linkage across the throttle body to take the clearance out of the system which I might need to do because it's not actually opening the horizontal there at all <clears throat> another thing to be aware of on these the throttle balance or synchronization as the Americans like to call it it's not via this rod this rod with the lock nuts on each end you can do it that way but it's annoying and frustrating you do it with this screw here 7 mil head or a slot the right angle screwdriver and that's how you adjust the balance on them so it's nice and easy S4R tester strata monsters also have the same linkage set up standard these things have a, an idle stop screw in the vertical just in this spot here um, we would always pull them out so that way with that out this throttle body is always loaded on the linkage so that anytime you would do any adjustments the cable is the master mechanism Let the cables come off because I've been up and the throttle up make sure the cable sits in its wheel nicely there you go this way the only thing that positions the vertical cylinder or vertical throttle body is the horizontal you don't have anything holding this open then take the clearance out of the rod as you open up the throttle bodies and then it starts to work it's just much better without that screw there okay so it turns out what it needed was a bit of cable adjustment and the cable adjustment Is just here what you need to do is make sure that the cable pulls the mechanism between its two stops but it doesn't actually do the adjusting of the opening it's just uh, a lever that has uh, two stops and it travels between those stops so you can't really do any adjusting with the cable unless the cables wrong so now if we open the fast idle up you'll see the vertical will start to open about there it's opening but the horizontal down here hasn't started opening until about there there's a fair bit of difference in how far open they are and that's the problem with this setup where you've got the master throttle body is the horizontal but the fast idles on the vertical it's just a bit of a silly idea if you need to adjust the rest of it I'll show you that So if we show you from the side, the cable itself, 
you can see it sits on the stop here and there's the other end of the slot here. So the cable goes from one end of the slot to the other. So that's adjusted as well as it can be. If you want to adjust how much effect this has, where this cam here runs on this lever, then you undo these screws and you slide the whole mechanism towards the front and that will open it more. But which I think I'm going to have to do realistically because you're really not getting a great deal of opening. Got my torch jammed in there, which could be upsetting stuff. I'll put the torch in there. And it's probably got enough opening to do what it needs to do. So I'll leave it as it is. It's easier to not adjust these things. And you can see the, the balance screw there. And you get into it, you pull the fuse box out, and get into it this day with a, a right angle screwdriver or a spanner.